Hi friends! It's Kindness Month and we're back in the art room to talk about kindness, to read about kindness, and to create some art that reminds us about kindness. But before we talk about kindness, let's talk about meanness first. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes I have noticed that people kind of think that it's cool to be mean. Think about maybe sitting together at lunch or on the playground or even among your brothers and sisters and cousins. Sometimes does the kid who says kind of a little mean thing or does kind of a little mean thing, do people think that's kind of cool? It was like that when I was a kid. And guess what? That's no way to be cool. In fact, in our book today, we are going to learn about a group of students who thought that being mean was cool, but their teacher, Mrs. Ruler, taught them that kindness is cooler. So let's read together and then we will create some art to, uh, to show what we've learned and to encourage others that kindness is cool. Read along with me. Our book this week is called Kindness is Cooler, Mrs. Ruler. It's written by Marjor Marjorie Kyler and illustrated by Sachiko Yoshikawa. Kindness is Cooler, Mrs. Ruler. It was a cold and rainy day and Mrs. Ruler's class hadn't been outside all week. The students were getting jumpy and grumpy. Naya and Tawana whispered during story time. David pulled Rockelita's ponytail and Rockelita stole his hat. Then David grabbed Connor's hat and threw it into the hall. That's enough, too rough, shouted Mrs. Ruler. The bell rang. It was time for recess. As the kids left, Mrs. Ruler kept Anaya, Tawana, Connor, Rockelita, and David behind. Sit down. Don't frown, she said. Now, tell me why you think I've kept you in from recess. We were acting up, mumbled Connor. That's right. You were being mean to one another. And you acted as if it's cool to be mean. But it's not. What is a cooler way to act? Rockelita spoke up. Kindness is cooler, Mrs. Ruler, she said. Bravo. A slice of nice makes a mile of smile. You need to practice being kind. During the next few days, I want you to perform five acts of kindness for your families. Then, in show and tell, you can share what you did with the rest of class. David scowled. What if I don't feel like being kind, he asked. Mrs. Ruler smiled. Good deeds fill needs. Count on me. You'll she see, she said. The next day, Anaya and Tawana couldn't wait for show and tell. When it was their turn, they ran to the front of the class. We did 10 acts of kindness last night, said Tawana. Before dinner, I made special placemats. I set the table, said Anaya. I drew hearts on the napkins to show mom we love her, said Tawana. I grated the cheese for the macaroni, said Anaya. I helped make the salad, said Tawana. After dinner, we carried the dishes to the sink, said Anaya. And I loaded the dishwasher, said Tawana. While I took out the garbage, added Anaya. Then I sponged off the table, said Tawana. And I straightened up the chairs, finished Anaya. Mom told us how much she liked our homework. It put her in such a good mood that we want to do more nice things for her. Bravo, said Mrs. Ruler. Ten acts of kindness will lead to more. Give me the chalk and I'll keep the score. Then she wrote the twins' deeds on the blackboard. When she finished, she looked at David. What about you, she asked. Did you practice too? No, said David. I just couldn't get into it. Oh my, please try. Kindness is cooler, said Mrs. Ruler. After school, Rockylita invited Connor over for a play date. She had a new dog and a big family, so there was lots of ways Rockylita and Connor could practice being kind. In show and tell the next day, they shared kindness with the class. We took puddles for a walk, said Rockelita. 
and we threw him the ball. I filled his water dish, said Connor. And I gave him some puppy chow, said Rockylita. Puppy chow? Wow, said Mrs. Ruler. Then we built a block tower with my little brother, said Rockylita, and gave Abuelo and Abuelita their canes before they took a walk. We also helped Rockylita's dad carry in the groceries from the car, said Connor. And I gave my baby sister her bottle, said Rockylita. I count eight, and eight is great, said Mrs. Ruler. That's not all, said Connor. When I got home, I took in the mail. I also carried the clean laundry upstairs. Bravo, said Mrs. Ruler. All together, you did 10. And how much did the twins' 10 acts and your 10 make? 20, shouted the class. That's right, said Mrs. Ruler. 20 is plenty. But how about you, David? What did you do? Too few for you, said David. The class laughed. I told my brother I liked his haircut, and I let him use my comb. That's all I could think of. Well, that's a good start. Keep doing your part, said Mrs. Ruler. Lauren raised her hand. I'd like to try some acts of kindness when I get home today, too, she said. Okay, hooray, said Mrs. Ruler. Let's turn this into a class project. For the rest of the week, I'd like you to bring in some acts of kindness you've done at home. I'll write your acts on paper hearts and put them on the bulletin board. And I'll also add the ones from the blackboard. More acts of kindness. Put away clothes, vacuum the living room, shelved books, let my big brother use my computer, told dad I liked his shirt, got sister a band-aid when she skinned her knee. And more kindness. Cleaned my room, fed goldfish, emptied waste baskets, watered house plants, put groceries away, drew pictures with my little sister, told my sister that she has nice teeth. The class really came through. We have so many, we'll need another wall, Mrs. Ruler exclaimed. Let's count. One, two, three. The kids counted until they reached 35. Bravo, said their teacher. Now try skip counting by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, Cloud shout shouted the class. That's right, you're bright, said Mrs. Ruler. We should keep going with this project. Now let's try some acts of kindness at school. I'll add those to the wall. Don't forget, a slice of nice makes a mile of smile. As Mrs. Ruler kept cutting out more hearts, Connor and Pablo tried some school kindness, too. They invited David to sit with them at lunch. But when they finished their sandwiches, David took one of Connor's cookies. Hey, quit it, said Connor. He grabbed David's lunch bag and threw it over his head. Stop, cried Pablo. Don't you remember what Mrs. Ruler said? Good deeds fill needs. David, don't grab. And Connor, you still have four cookies. Why don't you share them with David and me? Oops, said Connor. You're right. For a moment, I forgot about being kind. And Connor gave some cookies to his friends. I agree. Here are three. Yum, said David. I'm going to ask my babysitter to help me make cookies when I get home. And then you could bring them to school, said Pablo. And share them with the whole class, added Connor. And Mrs. Ruler will congratulate me for being extra kind, said David. But I still won't have done as many acts of kindness as everyone else. So think of other things to catch up, said Pablo. David didn't have to think long. That afternoon, when Caitlin was cleaning the gerbils cage, the gerbils got loose. One even jumped to the window ledge. Mrs. Ruler hopped on a chair. Eek, squeak, she cried. Everyone ran for cover. Everyone but David. He chased the gerbils. He scooped them up one by one. Then he set them back where they belonged. Hooray for David, yelled the class. Your act of kindness was the best, cried Mrs. Ruler. Now go on home and do the rest. She jumped off the chair and added the acts of kindness from the wall, from that week to the wall. Mrs. Ruler and the class counted up all the hearts. By now, the class had done 70 acts of kindness. 
That's great, but wait, said Mrs. Ruler. There's more in store. Let's keep going and spread some kindness beyond school. There are lots of kind acts you can do in the community. But we're just little kids, said David. How can we do stuff outside our house and school? I'll ask your parents to work with you on community kindness, and I'll help too, said Mrs. Ruler. All it takes is one simple act, one act of kindness that will make the world a better place. If you act from your heart and do your part, we'll end up with 100 acts of kindness all together. Now the class was really excited, and David was more excited than anyone. A few weeks later, the kids shared their acts of community kindness. Mrs. Ruler added more hearts to the wall. Again, the class counted. One, two, three, until they got to 99. Uh-oh. Oh, no, said Mrs. Ruler. We still need one more. Then she paused and thought for a moment. I know. Let's have a class party. We'll decorate and celebrate. 100 acts of kindness, shouted the class. Okay, hooray. And then the book ends with a huge list of different ways that you can be kind in your family, in your school, and in the community. That's kind of a silly story, isn't it? But I think it's a good reminder that kindness actually is cool and it's contagious. Did you notice that just a few acts of kindness encouraged others to want to be more and more kind? And they started in their families, then they went to their school, and then to the whole community. So kindness grows. Well, because it's Valentine's Day next week, and because Mrs. Ruler wrote the acts of kindness on hearts, I thought that we would make some kindness hearts of our own. But we're also going to learn a little, uh, some art words that will help us remember two things about kindness. The two things are that kindness is cool and kindness warms our heart. Now I used two art words in those sentences. Do you know what they were? Cool and warm. Because just like kindness is cool and kindness warms, color, colors are cool and colors are warm. They have temperature that we can see. Not temperature that we touch, but temperature that we see. Let me show you a couple of crayons. If I hold up these crayons, which set of crayons would you say is cool? The orange and red ones? I guess those are both orange. Or the blue ones? Did you say blue? That's because blues are cool colors. Oranges are warm colors. Anything at the beginning of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, anything that you might use to draw the sun or fire, we would call warm colors. And anything at the end of the rainbow, green, blue, purple, anything that you would use to draw cool grass or refreshing water, those are cool colors. And so we're going to create two different kindness hearts today using warm and cool colors. In this one, the heart is cool to remind us that kindness is cool. And in this one, the heart is warm to remind us that kindness warms our hearts. These are just fun and uh, kind of crazy ways to, to do hearts. We're gonna create them together and then I'm gonna give you some ideas for what you can use them for after we're done creating. So grab your crayons. I, I like crayons because they give us a variety of warm and cool colors to choose, to choose from. And I used a black marker to do my initial drawing. You can use a black marker, a black crayon, a black colored pencil, and even just a regular pencil if you want. So grab your supplies and let's draw together. First thing we're gonna do is just talk about the shapes of the hearts in my two little kindness hearts here. You notice that they're shaped pretty differently, aren't they? That this one is kind of long and skinny and this one is a little rounder, a little squishier. 
Uh, and those are both perfectly fine ways to draw hearts. In fact, um, there's lots of different ways to draw hearts, but they're pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and just do them in a dark pencil to show you first. You can practice drawing hearts just by starting to write the letter S and then come down to a point instead of curling it back around. But your hearts can be uneven. They can be tall and skinny like that. They can be short and round like that. So you just start on the left side, actually, yeah, start on your left side, just like you're making a letter S, but instead of going around like that, just come down to a point, start on the other side, come up, around, and down to make the other side of your heart. So if you have a piece of scratch paper, you might just practice making hearts. See what kind of heart you like best. And maybe you decide to do two different kinds. But practice that for just a second, and then we'll make them big. Okay, now that you've got your hearts practiced, we're gonna go ahead and get a clean sheet of paper in our art journal. And we're gonna go ahead and make two different hearts. And so we're gonna cut our paper in half. You can do that two different ways. You can get a pair of scissors or you can do, I'll show you a magic trick. So take your, rip your page out, fold it over so that the sides are touching. And then we're gonna first press with our finger. But then if you take your thumbnail, and I always have crayons or markers or something in my fingernails, so they'll have a little bit of art color on it. You kind of scrape along the side with your thumbnail. Make sure you go all the way to the edge, then flip it over the other way. Do the same thing. Really, really scrape, 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 scrape. And then when you open it up, you can put your hand on one side and gently pull on the other and you get a straight line and a beautiful cut. So you can do that if you don't have scissors. Now, if you do have scissors and you wanna cut your little donglies off of the top, you can, or you can do that later, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw our hearts. I'm gonna start off by making a tall and skinny heart on this one. And notice when I draw my heart that I'm filling up most of the page. We don't want a little teeny tiny baby heart in the middle. Fill up most of the page with your heart. And then on this one, I'm gonna do the more rounded one. Notice I'm going all the way toward the edges. So two pretty basic hearts. But then to get this cool stained glass design, I'm going to draw lines across my page. And I'm gonna start on one side of the page and make sure that my line goes all the way to the other. You can do straight lines, you can do wiggly lines, go from top to bottom, side to side, maybe top to side. Just draw a few lines on your paper to get an interesting pattern like that. Now you don't want to get too, too many so that you have teeny, teeny, tiny, see how I've got some of these little teeny, tiny spaces? We don't want too many of those. So let's see, how many did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did about eight lines total. Let's do it on this side. Let's see, we'll do, this one I could do straight lines if I wanted to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I want to do, I'm going to do one more, nine. I got some teeny tiny spaces there, but they, they're going to make interesting finished products with almost the same technique. I did straight lines on this one, curvy lines on this one. And now here's where our warm and cool come into play. I want you to start off by 
I like to dump out my crayons. I don't know whether you want to keep yours in your box or if you have them in a bucket, but I want you to grab at least four warm colors. I've got five here. I've got a red, a couple of oranges, three oranges, different oranges actually, and a yellow. And we're gonna start off first by thinking about how kindness warms our heart. So that means we're going to color in the spaces of just the inside of the heart on this one with warm colors. So let's start, I'll start with my red. And the way that you get this to look cool is when you're coloring them in, you actually, I didn't want to say look cool, do I? Because this is our warm heart. Um, you want to make sure that you don't put this color where it's touching another section on the side with the same color. I'll show you what I mean. So when I color with crayon, I always do what my first grade teacher, Mrs. Sharkey, taught me to do. And I always outline the space first and then color it in. You don't have to do that, but when you have a habit that's that you've had for over 40 years, it kind of sticks with you. I just like the way it looks. Now, I'm gonna color in at least three, if not more, spaces using this warm color on the inside of my heart. So there's one. Now, do I wanna color this one the same color? No, because it shares a side. Now, I could color that little guy in the same color because it shares a point. It shares um, a vertex. I think I'm going to go for another big one though. So I'm going to color this one over on the other side of my heart in this red. And then color that in. Now here's where that, now do I want to color this one red? No, because it shares a side. Do I want to color this one red? No, because that shares a side but I could color this shape in red because it shares a point. So I'm gonna go ahead and color that one in. So there are three shapes. I'm gonna do four in this color. I think I'm gonna do this one, this red. So I've got four sections of my warm heart colored with this warm color. Now, while I still have this crayon in my hand, I'm gonna do the warms on this kindness heart. But this time, I'm not gonna color inside my heart. I'm only gonna color sections outside my heart. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing, picking a few sections, maybe three, maybe four, outside of my heart. I'm gonna go ahead and just color those in, one, two, and remember, I'm not having them touch each other. I'm kind of sprinkling them around the different sides of my heart. So there I've used my first warm color and I'll set that down. Now I'm gonna to go to my second warm color. I'm gonna use this orange and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna color in a few sections inside the heart on this one and outside the heart on that one. So why don't you grab your warm colors and start following along. I'm gonna color with this orange, then I'm gonna color with this yellow, then I'll probably come back in and color with one of these oranges, and then I'll see if there are any empty spaces and I might go back and fill in some spots with some of the colors that I've used. So join me and let's color some warm.
so fun. So now we have the inside of this one nice and warm and the outside of this one nice and warm and it's time to move on to our cool colors. I have chosen five different colors here, a light green, a dark green, two different blues, and a purple. You can tell Mrs. Burke um, breaks lots of crayons because I actually hold my crayons the wrong way. So if your teacher tells you to hold your pencil a different way, listen to her because I never learned and so I break things <laughs> sometimes. But I'm gonna do the same exact thing with these that I did with my warms. I'm gonna, but this time I'm gonna color the inside cool here to remind me that kindness is cool and the outside of this one in cool colors using the same steps. I'll start with one and I'll move my way around using the other ones. So join me in remembering that kindness is cool and coloring with cool colors. We have our two new awesome kindness hearts and there are a couple of other things you can do with them if you want you can cut them off like that you could even take a piece of scratch paper cut a rectangle and even write a message on it maybe something that says kindness is cool and you could glue it right on top or you could write a message to somebody that says your kindness warmed my heart and put it on there you could glue this on a piece of black paper and fold it and make 
a really neat valentine, or a thank you note, or write words of kindness to somebody else. Maybe on the back of this, you could make a kindness coupon that says, this coupon is good for one act of kindness and give it to somebody knowing that they can ask you to do something kind for them at some point. Or maybe you write a note on the back thanking somebody for being kind. Maybe your teacher is going to put them on the board every time she sees somebody be kind. Or maybe you can sneak someone in somebody's backpack when you see them doing an act of kindness. You could be a kindness ninja. So many options for what we can do with these little acts of kindness. Well, I hope this month that you continue to do acts of kindness that are cool. Because if you do, it will warm my heart. And I'm excited to hear about what you decide to do with your kindness hearts. Will you keep them? Will you give them away? Will you do it in public or in secret? There's lots of things that you can do with these. And lots of ways that you can be kind. And I know that Earl Warren students are already kind all the time. But maybe this will give you some incentive to be even more kind and see how many acts of kindness you can count. Because kindness is cool. I look forward to being with you again next week as we talk even more about kindness and draw together even when we're apart. <laughs>